time. Well, 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 look who's back. Surprised? Uh, more like annoyed, actually. Uh, for those of you who missed it last week, Adrian Monk is a <coughs> private detective who was hired by my ex-sister-in-law, who's delusional, <laughs> uh, because she thinks I killed my... <laughs> My wife. Mm -hmm. So what can we do for you today, Mr. Monk? Well, <clears throat> for three weeks before Jeanette died, you left the house at 2 o'clock every afternoon. Yes. Uh, according to her sister, you said you were going to the gym. That's right. Well, I went to your gym, and they said that you haven't been there in six months. So my first question is, what were you doing at 2 o'clock every day? Well, uh, that's really none of your business, but uh, I'm going to tell you anyway. Uh, it's no secret Jeanette and I had an understanding. We had what some people would call an open marriage. In my house, it's called the impossible dream. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you're absolutely right. I did not go to the gym. I was getting a different kind of workout. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> and for those of you keeping score at home, that's max <laughs> one, Monk. Nothing. You want to play? Okay, let's, let's play. Oh, here we go. You no, know, Max, <clears throat> you look like you're out of shape. When you go to a restaurant, you don't use a fork. You use a harpoon. Uh, what? You heard me. When you took your dog to the dog show, you won first prize, not your dog. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not funny. Yes, it is. No, no, it's not. Yes, it is. You know who you remind me of? The hippie who came home and gave his dog fleas. Hippie? What year is this? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you remind me of several different hippies. Like the hippie who moved into a new apartment and it was six months before he realized there was no hot water. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, but you had that coming. Yeah, um, Adrian, uh, are, are you telling jokes, buddy? Max, you got a caller. Thank God. Hello, Mr. Hudson. Long-time listener, first-time yeah. caller. I love the show. I can't, Thank you. I can't, I can't believe I got through. Listen, I just got back from Los Angeles, and the smog was terrible. I was wondering if anyone there has any thoughts on the subject? Uh, Max, I'll take this one. Uh, I know what he means. Uh, the smog was so bad, one time I shot an arrow into the air, and it stuck. In the air. In the stuck from the smog. Yeah, yeah, JJ, that, that sound effect is about as funny as my wife's cooking. You know what she made every night? A noose? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not a noose. Leftovers. Why would she make a noose? Yeah, seriously, though, ser are, are, are you married? Because that's a woman I would love to meet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I was married. Her name was Trudy. She died. She was murdered. It was a car bomb. Man, that sucks. Uh, may she rest in peace. Well, rest in pieces. <laughs> I mean, at least my wife was buried in a coffin. What was Trudy buried in? A bunch of little snack bags. Oh, God. Let me in there. Whoa, whoa, Max, take no, it no, easy. Seriously, you should have called me in. I could have helped you with the case. I'm great with jigsaw puzzles. Are you joking about Trudy? Adrian, I want to use the car now. Go for a drive. What's this button do? <laughs> Bet you needed a whole bunch of wipes that day, huh? Hey, by the way, you know the last thing that went through your wife's mind? The steering wheel! But seriously, Look out, Mr. Monk! Yeah! Look out, Mr. Monk! Go ahead! Mr. Monk! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Thanks for stopping by, Adrian. Come by any time. We'll be right back. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle.